Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial on how to auto a VCV use how. Um, I've gone into detail about th um, this section here, all of these little bits and bobs, in my CV to auto tutorial. So, if you want, to, if you're not aware of what all of these mean, then feel free to check that tutorial out. But um. So yeah, guys, this is the auto section. Now, for autoing a VCV, um, it would take way too long by hand. So, you guys were probably expecting me to explain exactly how to do all of this by hand. But what I'm going to recommend to you guys instead is that you don't do that. But instead, when recording your VCV voice bank, you record it with another voice. So... These samples here are from um, Ruko, and then these are just some of the samples that I did alongside Ruko's uh, voice bank with a VCV, because I am currently working on a on Utawa project with some people called Utawa Project Idol 41. Now, someone will be autoing my voice bank, but I did... I redid some of the uh, notes for the voice bank with Ruko's just to show you guys this um, this tutorial really. So basically, instead of autoing all these notes myself, I would go on Audacity Okay, so here on Audacity, I would then open, and I would find, which I think I have preloaded. No, I don't, sorry. Um, I would basically just find Ruko's voice files. So I'll quickly go through into Utah. Uh, so, songs, voice. Um, here, here he is, yes, his male voice bank. Um, and I chose to record alongside his D4. We'll click on this one as an example and just press OK. Okay, so then if we open the uh, voice bank I was working on and we can just drag and drop this in. Here is this, it's slightly ahead. I'm not really sure how to put it back to the time it was. But basically, yeah, this bit here, maybe I can just copy and paste it. No. <coughs> okay, so yeah, basically this bit here, um, I recorded at the same time, but for some reason this bit, I think I might have deleted the beginning bit by accident, but, so these should play at the same time, but they won't, but I'll show you guys. <laughs> so, using this, since they're at the exact same time, well they should be, I can literally just take the auto if I find it in his voice bank it can take a while not sure where it would be but if you can't find it I think you can just type auto and there it is and I would l literally drag and drop that into this and here we have um, an autoed version of the voice bank so instead, I'm going to show you guys the autoed version of this. So now I can um, Okay guys, so since I don't since I can't type in hiragana, I will just quickly, I'll speed it up for you guys, but I can quickly get, s copy and paste some of these and just make a small little UST for you guys. Okay guys, so here's a basically really small UST. Once you've made a UST, guys, just in case you didn't know, you just select P2, P3 up here and it will blend them. 
blend the notes or you can select um, P1, P4. But yeah, so here you go guys. Hmm, okay, oh sorry guys, my Utah has my Utah program has an annoying error where I have to use resampler sometimes. Otherwise I won't play and I have to tick that little box. Oh yeah guys, I remembered in this voice bank. This is his um D four notes. And since these are his D4 notes, it means that I have to add D4 at the end of them all. So here you go guys, this is what they should sound like once they're done. Sorry guys, my Utaho just crashed. Um, this note, it for some reason bugged out and refused to play it, so I'm going to quickly pick a different note. And I'll just copy that. And here you go guys, this is what your um, Utaho will sound like once it's been autoed with a different VCV auto. So there you go guys, um, now these samples weren't very good ones, the ones I picked, so they don't sound very like clear, but um, like they sound a bit jumpy, but um, so that's basically how you would auto, obviously if you were to release the voice bank you would have to credit them for auto, and I would say preferably ask if you were to publish it for the voice provider's permission. Well, the voice bank creator's permission to use the auto but um so yeah guys that is how i would recommend autoing as you can't really it takes way too long to auto all of this by hand but yeah guys so i hope this tutorial was um understandable i'm sorry if some of you were expecting a full tutorial on the proper um like editing and using voice bank settings and like making your own auto but I just personally wouldn't recommend it unless you're a part of like I am in a um Utah project group that someone will be doing it. <laughs> but um otherwise I wouldn't recommend um doing it yourself. But um yeah guys, so that is the end of the video. This Utau, m in case any of you are wondering, may not be out for a long time. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I um, didn't ramble too much. I'm sorry about the constant errors that I had. I'll probably cut most of them out. But um, yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did enjoy this video, then please subscribe and give it a like. Um, Tell me if you thought I should change anything in the comments. And yeah, that's basically it, guys. So if you did enjoy this, please check out my other tutorials. And if you want to know properly how to auto a bank, like any type of bank, or want to understand the uh, details, like what all of this is, then I would recommend checking out my CV tutorial, which the link for will be in the description. But anyway guys, sorry for spending now like two minutes saying all that, but I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please check out my other videos, but <laughs> if you did, I will hopefully see you in another one of my Utah tutorials. Okay, bye guys.